welcome back all of you to the online class of biology so we were discussing about various animal tissues isn't it so i told there are uh, different types of animal tissues like the epithelial tissues connective tissues muscular tissues and nervous tissues isn't it so among this we have learned about the epithelial tissues muscular tissues and the connective tissues in detail isn't it so today we are going to study about another kind of tissues called nervous tissues okay so nervous tissues main uh, function is what to generate stimulus what do you mean by stimulus stimulus is some kind of response the 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 some kind of physical factors that can uh, generate a, a reaction in the organism so uh, this uh, according to the difference in the physical conditions the nerve cells can generate the stimulus okay it can generate the stimulus not only generating the stimulus it can also pass it to the uh, different parts of the body so that is the major function of what nervous tissue generation of what nerve impulse okay stimulus that stimulus is known as what nerve impulse and the generation of nerve impulse and the uh, transmission of gener uh, this generated uh, nerve impulse to different parts of the body that is the major function of nervous tissue okay so where you can see nervous tissues nervous tissues can be seen in brain or uh, the brain is made up of what nervous tissue okay spinal cord and in all other nerves okay so these are the sites so you can see them all over the body okay they are distributed all over the body because of that only you are able to sense the touch okay or pain okay in any part of your body you are able to feel all this because of this nervous tissue okay and the organ like brain is completely made up of what nervous tissue okay then the nerve cells are known as neuron okay this you would have studied from your uh, smaller classes the parts of the neuron if you see you can see that this part is known as the cell body okay cell body and cell body is having nucleus and cytoplasm okay cytoplasm and nucleus will be there in them and then you can see small processes this processes are known as dendrites okay what are they dendrites okay and their major function is to collect the information from the adjacent cells okay dendrites then you can see a long type of uh, nerve okay or fiber that is known as the axon Okay. this is what axon so this gives the information from a nerve cell to the next one okay through the nerve endings okay nerve endings are there so from uh, this parts will collect the information and give it to the cell body and from cell body through axon uh, the information will be passed to the uh, next cell okay and you can see axon is having what many sheath okay it is covered by a sheath known as myelin sheath what is this then myelin sheath this myelin sheaths are made up of small units known as schwann cells what are they schwann cells okay myelin sheath is what the covering of the axon and it is made up of okay cells known as what schwann cells okay so the major function of what nerve tissue is what it collect the information and give to the what uh, to the uh, it collects the information from uh, the past to various parts of the body okay and so uh, this nerve tissues okay uh, are bound to nerve uh, cells are bound to connective tissue and form what the uh, nerve tissue in our body okay so this is what the major uh, what types of animal tissues found in found
okay so uh, we have in detail we have studied about epithelial tissue then we studied about the uh, connective tissue isn't it and then the muscular tissues and the last is nervous tissues okay so what is the major function of nervous tissue generation of nerve impulse and the conduction of nerve impulse to various parts clear that's about this chapter okay so once again we will uh, see what all we have studied we have studied about the definition of tissues okay and then we told the tissues in plants and animals are different due to the functions that they have to perform isn't it and plant tissues are classified into uh, permanent tissues and meristematic tissues meristematic tissues again on the basis of their possession they are apical intercalary and lateral meristem okay then permanent tissues depends upon the type of cells the num uh, kind of cells in them okay whether they are having one kind of cells or they are having different kinds of cells on that basis they are classified into permanent tissues simple permanent tissues and complex permanent tissues simple permanent tissues means they are made up of only one type of cells okay we learned the examples parenchyma cholangyma and sclerenchyma isn't it and complex permanent tissues they are made up of more than one type of cells example xylem and phloem isn't it and then we studied about the tissue system in plants then moving on to the next what animal tissues animal tissues are classified or there are four different types of animal tissues epithelial tissues connective tissue muscular tissues and and the nervous tissues okay so last we have studied about the la nervous tissues nervous tissues help in the generation and conduction of nerve impulses okay and uh, this nor uh, to uh, the speciality of the cells are they can get excited they can get stimulated and produce what nerve impulses which can be transported to different parts of the body isn't it so these are what different types of tissues in this chapter okay hope everyone understood